The Canadian Federation of Students says it represents over half a million of students on campuses across the country. But a group of Laurentian University students in Sudbury want to see the student associations cut free of the organization. With more on this, here's CTV's Tamara Shenko. Unhappy with the National Student Organization, Brendan Lehman is among a group of students circulating a petition at Sudbury's Laurentian University. We have uh, legitimate concerns about the structure and the way the, the, the Federation, the Canadian Federation of Students is, is run. The master student in biology wants the university's student associations to defederate. He says the same thing is happening at more than a dozen universities across Canada. Among his concerns, tuition hikes and the Federation's reluctance to follow in the footsteps of Quebec students who went on strike and marched in protest last year. A contingent of us took, were very inspired by uh, the actions that took place in Quebec and their obvious positive results. And uh, we, we, we went to the meetings and we tried to, uh, to implement bylaw and policy changes to, 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 to bring uh, favor into that sort of tactic and strategy. There's a big difference between uh, having a specific day of action or action, so whether it be lobbying efforts, writing letters to MPs or lawmakers, um, or having general strikes. And the membership don't feel that strikes would be an effective way of achieving that goal. On campus, opinions are mixed. Tuition is really expensive, so yeah, I support it. A strike would be a bad idea. I want to get my four-year degree and get out of here and get a job. While at least two of Laurentian student associations say they welcome dialogue on the issues, support for dropping the national organization may be another matter. In my personal opinion and the association's position, it's better to be a part and have that seat at the table and have your voice heard than try to go home and defederate. What I can say is that uh, we have a number of concerns about our involvement in the, in the Canadian Federation of Students. Uh, sort of separately from the petition. To decertify, 20% of a student association's membership must sign the petition. That would be followed by a referendum. In the meantime, Lehman says plans are underway to form a new networking organization for students. Tamara Shanko, CTV News, Sudbury.